Welcome back. Uh, let's start. So I promised you a uh, powering video against Terran. Uh, last time it was against Protoss. It worked kind of well. So let's see how it works against Terran. Spoiler alert, it works even better. The power rank works probably the best against Terran. So, uh, let's go to my cam. Actually my Protoss cam and let's go to double speed. This map is Shakuras, as you have probably guessed. And if there is a better map for early expansion, I don't know about it. Shakuras is really good. And my opponent knew that as well, which is actually the best, because I'm really, really tired of all those idiots who just go one base all in. <laughs> and funny thing that idiots like them uh, usually post on, for post on forums and talk uh, and say that uh, StarCraft 2 is a coin flip game. Yeah, just kill them, kill them, or kick them, whatever. So yeah, we are scouting, just a little bit. This game is shorter than the last one. <coughs> Let's go to production tab, or unit tab. Yeah. Uh, once again, this is all for bron bronze and low-level players. Uh, so, hey, what's the point? Oh yeah, we are 23 supply, he's somewhere around 19, and yeah, we scouted, uh, we scouted the, uh, what's it called, the bunker, so it means he's going for an expo. Uh, you, you, you can guess he's going for an expo, uh, he could be, he could be uh, trying to trick you, but, well, this is still bronze silver level play, so, uh, no, probably not. Yeah, I, I played against the gold zerg uh, a few games ago. Uh, I played as a zerg, and well, if that guy was gold, then I don't know. Gold league uh, has sunk really low. Yeah, he, he's going for high sec auto tracking, probably because I don't know. He wants to be safe against observers. Maybe I don't know. So yeah, but uh, yeah, we are going for the uh, for the powering approach. This time I actually made the double forge uh, fast enough. Actually, possibly too fast. <coughs> but yeah, and the gateways are coming. Oh yeah, plus one, plus one, chrono boosted. Uh, you know, you know how power how powering uh, works. Uh, it was explained in the last video. But just to recap, it is uh, a Protoss approach of making gateway units and just getting as many workers as possible while not actually making the units in the beginning. Uh, just scout, just scout a bit, and making a lot of gateways so you can uh, produce one massive push and then reproduce very fast. It is it is the best on two or more bases. Uh, it I wouldn't do it on one base. Uh, it's actually kind of a really bad idea. But yeah. Uh, the point of this is to uh, get as many gateways as possible, as high upgrades as possible, and charge and blink. And you will be using only gateway units. Uh, which actually means charge lots and blink stalkers, but you can mix in sentries if you want. I don't, I uh, don't use them that much, which is my weakness, I admit it. Uh, you can use High Templars or Dark Templars. I prefer DTs a bit, uh, because they complement charge results quite well. But High Templars are also good, especially sin since uh, if your opponent goes stores, like he did in some of the games I uh, recorded before, then actually you can uh, do 200, instantly you can do 200 damage to doors. Because they have energy, yay! And nobody ever uses the strike cannon upgrade. So yeah, we are expanding at the 12 minute mark to third base, which is always good. We are just checking that our opponent didn't expand. 
And we are upgrading, 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 chrono boosting, charge, and uh, chrono boosting, upgrades, charge, and blink. And building as many gateways as possible. As you can see, the resources are high. Uh, it is supposed to be that way, because you're not making any army, you're just going for upgrades. And you're building a lot of gateways. So let's go to normal speed, since, well, stuff will start happening. So, how many workers does my opponent have? Oh. Yeah, one thing, and one thing only in bronze. If you are a bronze leaguer, and even silver or gold, I have played against all of those. Uh, hell, I have played against diamond and masters, few of them. And, uh... Make workers. Keep making workers. Uh, as a Protoss you have it easy. Uh, you can just Q and Chrono Boost, if you forget. As a Zerg, uh, that's kind of different. It's about decision making. But as a Terran, you need to keep making workers, because you are the slowest race to build them. So yeah, as you can see, he, he on two bases, he was making very small amount of workers. So yeah, let's go to production tab. And we are reaching plus three, plus three. Which was kind of the the deal, and on plus three plus three, I will start warping in and attack. As you can see, I have. Uh, let's go to my cam. We have three bases, and let's stop the cam. So, plus three, yay! Finished almost, and we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have twelve gateways. So. Uh, the opponent thought that he was under no pressure, because you had no units. You just had a billion gateways. Which is kind of a uh, really good surprise attack, because he thinks he's okay, 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 boom! Massive push incoming. That's nice, isn't it? So unit stab, 28 charge lots, 16 blink stalkers against 6 tanks, 40 marines, 2, uh, two marauders, 2 medvacs. Yeah, I was expecting him to uh, to drop, uh, which is why I was saving a few of the gateway, a uh, few of the gateway cooldowns. But yeah, let's go. Pushing into a tank line, the biggest problem uh, possible. Uh, not exactly, because charge lots kind of are kind of good. Yeah, I screwed up the blink. That's just my control problem. Well. That is the big deal with this, with this build. Uh, charge lots obliterate everything on ground, and blink stalkers can blink into a into a tank line, which means the tanks will keep shelling themselves. Uh, as you can see, he, he was expecting colossi. He was he was expecting. He didn't scout at all. He didn't scan, as far as I know. But he was just expecting that Protoss would would go colossi. Uh, you can expect that from low level players, but uh, I didn't want to do that. Because I, 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 j I personally prefer Templar tech. It is a bit uh, more difficult to control, but I like it uh, a bit more. It's, har it's harder to counter, much harder. Colossus tech is countered by few, uh, few Vikings. And you need a lot of uh, you need a really good control with stalkers. So what's nice is that this army <laughs> is coming again. Those are just two warpins. Next one will come very soon. So that's the, that that is the principle of the powering up that you can just obliterate your opponent. <laughs> and what's good is that you can do it with uh, blank stalkers and charge lots plus something. So as I said in the last video, probably, I don't know, uh, but yeah, what I was saying, against Terran this works really well, uh, because most of the t most of Terrans will go for, uh, what's it called, uh, god damn it, I totally forgot, uh, Marauders, Marauders, and Marauders are obliterated by charge lots, and I mean obliterated, and if they go for tanks, you can blink into a tank line, no problem at all. Uh, charge lots also can uh, uh, close the distance very fast. If he's going for marines, marines get obliterated by charge lots. 
because zealots have so much health. There, 150. Horrible. Uh, uh, so, what can the opponent throw at this? Yeah, p probably nothing. Uh, if you if you are going for this combination, uh, then it's uh, then the game is about how well you are, how well you can expand, and how well how good can your production be. If he had ghosts, uh, this might have been different, but probably not so much because, uh, as you see, three base production uh, was was able to support this many gateways. It's like, yeah, three base production was able to support twelve gateways, uh, plus three, plus three upgrades, charge, and blink, and the attack came at about sixteen minute mark. Plus three, plus three at sixteen minute mark. Charge, blank, three bases, uh, and 200, 200 supply. That's kind of evil. Uh, for the for bronze level, of course. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so that's the powering up against turns. See you next time, and bye bye.